I'm meteorologist Brianna Mowry and we are continuing to track the tropics as tropical storm Debbie begins to make an impact across the southeast. We have issued News 19 weather impact alert days for a lot of the upcoming week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. All weather impact alert days here in the Midlands. We have a lot to unpack. So those weather impacts we are expecting some heavy rainfall and wind. That's our two impacts and those winds could be pretty strong at times. But the main concern is the heavy rainfall, which then could lead to some flooding concerns across the Midlands. That time frame again Monday through Thursday, and there's still some uncertainty in the strength, the speed and the track that Debbie could take once it reaches the South Carolina coast. And depending on any varying of that track, we could see some of our rainfall totals and even wind speeds changing a little bit. But don't get too focused on specific numbers. It's important to remember those impacts. So what you need to know Monday through Thursday, all day event, throughout the next several days. That impact, the main impact, heavy rainfall, and that heavy rainfall you need to realize could lead to some flooding issues. So if you are heading out, be mindful of heavy rainfall leading to flooding. Don't drive through flooded roadways. Try to do everything you can to stay safe. We will be sending out alerts on our app our website, social media accounts. So be sure to follow us here at WLTX News 19. We will do uh, keep you updated with the very latest on Tropical Storm Debbie. Now our latest 8 o'clock advisory shows Debbie in the Gulf of Mexico just off the Florida coast seeing impacts from Debbie in Florida all day today. But Debbie will then strengthen in the Gulf of Mexico because of such warm waters there. We will see a category one hurricane making landfall in the Big Bend region of Florida as early as tomorrow morning that will then travel through the southern Georgia region as it makes its way back into the Atlantic right off the South Carolina Georgia coast by Monday or excuse me Wednesday afternoon. It is going to hang around there for a little bit. It's going to stall and slow down and that's why we could get such a long a long range of impacts because of the slow movement of Debbie by Thursday afternoon. It's still right off the South Carolina coast. Not much movement from this and by Friday we'll find Finally, see Debbie pushing off to the north and continuing to weaken as it leaves our area. And we are going to continue to track this as it unfolds, but we're going to dive right into those wind chances. So tonight or going into tomorrow morning, tonight, tomorrow morning, very low wind chances across the Midlands for any tropical storm uh, winds. But as we go into Monday, we will begin to see that chance increase Monday evening, especially if you're in the southeastern Midland counties. And we will see that continuing into our Tuesday afternoon, that chance continuing to increase through the day on Tuesday. Overnight, Tuesday into Wednesday, we see those chances going up again. And this will be the, the trend as we head through the week. Those wind chances continuing to increase. This is early Thursday morning. We're seeing some more green on the map, higher chances for tropical storm winds. And then, of course, by Friday night, our highest potential for those winds as we round out the week. But it's important to remember the wind is not our main concern, but we could still see some pretty gusty wind. So our wind forecast overnight tonight, things staying very calm out there. Going into Monday, though, we'll begin to see those changes. We'll, about, we'll see those uh, wind gusts reaching 22 miles per hour in some places in the teens, though, for much of the Midlands. We'll see those wind speeds beginning to increase later Monday night into Tuesday morning. And now we're starting to get some of those pinks and our pinks and orange purple on our map. We are looking here now at Tuesday morning. Winds gusting 45 mile per hour wind gusts in Orangeburg Tuesday morning as you were heading out the door for Tuesday afternoon. Still could see upwards of 40 mile per hour wind gusts all across the Midlands. And this continues Tuesday night. This also continues into Wednesday morning. A little bit lower though for Wednesday morning, down back at the gusts in the 20s. And as we go into Wednesday, we can see some increasing again Wednesday afternoon of those wind gusts back upwards. Of of 40 miles per hour, especially in the southeastern Midlands. And then as we go, it's uh, go through the day on Wednesday, we will continue to see those elevated wind speeds. But it's important to remember with those winds, 
our primary concern is the rainfall and what flooding could occur because of that. So our rainfall chances for the next several days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, all some pretty significant chances for rainfall. And by the weekend, we'll finally see things drying out with some lower rainfall chances for our forecast going into uh, the start of Monday morning. This is overnight tonight. Still pretty dry across the middle some showers along the coast. Going into the rest of the day on Monday, we begin to see more of those showers pushing into the Midland region of South Carolina. Orangeburg getting some of those showers midday tomorrow around lunchtime. We can begin to see some of those showers reaching the Columbia area. And then as we go into Monday afternoon and evening, those showers become more widespread as they move into the Midlands. And then we could begin to see this uh, areas of rainfall becoming heavier and shifting as we go into Tuesday. So here is overnight Tuesday morning, heavier rainfall along the southern South Carolina coast. Then we can see it moving in toward the Midlands by Tuesday daybreak and going into the afternoon on Tuesday. This is where we'll begin to see things uh, becoming a concern in the Midlands. Tuesday afternoon, heavy rainfall swirling into the Midlands. We'll see that continuing into Tuesday afternoon. We'll see some purples and pinks even showing up where these heavier rain, rain bands do set up. We could get some locally higher rainfall amounts. Continuing rainfall into Tuesday night. Wednesday, more of that rain moving into the area. As we go into the middle of the week, some more heavy rainfall across the coastline of South Carolina, Charleston and Hilton Head expecting some uh, upwards of 20 to 30 inches of rainfall. But here in the Midlands, we are seeing uh, some lower rainfall amounts, but don't get too caught up in the numbers. It's important to realize whether you're in the northwestern Midlands or southeastern Midlands, everyone will see impacts from Tropical Storm Debbie this week, and it's important that we are all at the risk for those flooding concerns. Looking at that excessive rainfall outlook, we all have a risk for flooding uh, for the rest of today, not related to Debbie but going into Monday, this is where we begin to see the impacts of Debbie starting as early as tomorrow morning. So we're already in the Midlands seeing some uh, slight that's level two out of four risk for excessive rainfall. And then by Tuesday, with the heavy rain swirling in from a tropical storm Debbie, we're looking at moderate risk for flooding, even a uh, high level of risk for flooding for the southeastern Midlands. So this is definitely something to watch out for going into Wednesday. That flood threat still hanging around for a lot of South Carolina. Looking at closer look at the Midlands on those flooding risks. This is tonight not related to Debbie, just a level one out of four, level two out of four for two or for Tuesday for our northeastern Midlands, a level three out of four for our central Midlands and our southeastern Midlands. That's Orangeburg County, Calhoun County, Clarendon County. High chances for flooding. For those tropical advisories, we're already seeing tropical storm watches for the coast of South Carolina because of those tropical storm force winds. Our chance for those tropical storm force winds lower the more inland you go, but that doesn't mean we're out of the woods for those gusty continual wind speeds going into the week. So breaking this down over the next seven days, we are in a weather impact alert day for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday for heavy rainfall and wind and the flooding potential. So we are going to see those impacts for much of the week starting as early as tomorrow morning and lasting all the way through Thursday. By Friday going into the weekend, we will begin to see things moving out. That rain chance going back down finally by the weekend. Temperatures lower over the next four days because of all the clouds and rain. We're back in the 90s for the weekend. We could see some sunshine by the weekend, but we have a long few days ahead of us. So as always, download your WLTX app, follow us on social media, check in online. We will keep you updated with the latest on Tropical Storm Debbie as this unfolds across the Midlands this week.